Okay, I got this plastic shroud in here. It actually fits really rather well, better than I expected. Uh, I made a mistake uh, first go around. I put the brackets on the inside of the shroud. That, looking at the pictures, they have to be on the outside. It actually pulls it in, tucks it in tighter to the radiator when you do it that way, too. Um, seems like a decent kit. Uh, I think it's going to do what it's supposed to do. I was missing one little nut. I don't know if it fell through the packaging or whatnot. What I had to do to get this thing in, though, I had to take the uh, radiator sport rods off, obviously the hood and the upper radiator hose, so I could tilt the uh, radiator back to the light bar in order to sneak this in. Being plastic, it's bendable, so you were, I was able to get it by the fan. So now I just have to assemble it. I have the uh, engine pans all painted. I'm going to get some hardware to put them in. Probably not the right stuff because I don't want to take the time to order it. I'll put some uh, bolts and nuts and put the pans in. We'll take it for a rip. Not that hot a day today. It's going to be in the 70s, but I think we're going to be back in the 90s uh, this week. So I can give this a good run and see if uh, I've corrected the, uh, you know, these Band-Aid approaches fix the uh, overheat, uh, which was, you know, just borderline when it was really, really hot. Okay. Actually, from what I understand, the 28s and 29s never really cooled all that well. Anyways, the uh, the 28s came with a shroud originally, and then they uh, decided to drop that uh, late in 28 into 29. We'll see.